Hey guys, um, my name is Ryan Kay. I'm the captain of the Team Fanboy in Manchester. Um, this is my XO Swiss um, deck. It's Reboot Gohan. Um, I do have a leader somewhere, but yeah, it's Reboot Gohan successor. Um, idea of a deck is turn three. You want to go into your big successor and throw a lot of bodies on board. It's a lot. I find it a lot better than blue green because blue green I find is glass cannon. Um, and then yeah, I'll talk through my choices on my sideboard for matchups. Amazing! Congratulations on winning the, the, this amazing tournament. Day yeah, a lot of uh, weird sort of meta, quite different to America, where America was a hand control, mm. faced a lot of aggro. Um, luckily, we expected it as a team, so we was just mirror matching, playing against booze, and it pretty much helped. Uh, faced two booze, three mirrors, an Android 13. Uh, uh, and um, I, yes, a Piccolo Surge, Troy. So yeah, I had my best matchups and my worst matchups in the bear. But yeah, it was just a really good one. So, Let's see. So yeah, so first thing I do is I start off with um, four of the four drop Gokus. Uh, this is just a generic good yellow card if you're going for the successor build. Um, it's a 5k combo piece, but you never play it. You, it becomes yellow energy, but it's mainly used to get him a drop and as a rival fodder. The reason is because this is the heart and soul of the deck. Um, everyone goes mad for the lead of Gohan, but this card doesn't work. So this is the 8 drop um, SS2 Goku from the Expert deck. So the idea of the deck is you go from, you have 4 life on turn 3, you'll swing the leader, you'll take 2 life, or you'll take 1, and then you'll play a card later on in the board, if need be, using life. You'll then, uh, you'll then arrival, do some stuff, Wait, do whatever you need for your energy. You'll free play a pan, and then you will go and successor eight, play this go, play this Gohan, and have triple attack, triple strike, 35k with one swing, 30k with two swings. They're either taking that hit or they're wasting a hand, which just sets you up for your leader swings. It basically makes turn three six triple strike swings, which is just disgusting. Um, obviously, most top decks now have a secret in it. Um, well, Celzino is an amazing choice. I didn't like it in this build, I found it too clunky, people were expecting it. So I went with a bit of spice and I went with Secret Air Brolic. Reason for this is, as shown in the list as well, you can activate this turn 3 and just go even more mental with um, Battle Mod. You will go and do some skills, you'll go, you'll swing with your Gohan three times, you'll pop your Gohan, pop your Pan, pop another card, normally it's Overrealm, normally it's a one drop that's sitting there, you'll play Battle Mod. From Belmont, your KO card and play Spice that Freeze in your hand. You'll then dump your hand, play out Secret Air Broly, and if you have Beerus in hand, you'll play Beerus. For negging three cards, after you swung three times with them, or triple strikes, you're getting a Secret Air, a 15k crit, a 15k body, and a 20k body on board. That's stupid. Wow, man. Turn three. How many times did you do that today? Broly came out once, unfortunately. But the whole KO in Goku, Gohan in something else, just throwing on the board, wouldn't be games. I pre think I won half my games, especially if Gohan mirror matches, mm. by literally spamming the board. This deck goes from successor to Gohan Storm in a matter of minutes. Um, we then have some arrival package because every arrival is just an amazing skill. So we have three Android 18s and Krillin, power couple. This deck, this card's amazing. It's no wonder it's an expensive card in draft box. You arrive in for one green energy, ask him to discard a card. Otherwise, if somebody's going ham with a triple strike, half bell play, um, double strikes, quad strike, Celzino, you could just turn around and say, no thanks, I'm going to take one damage. Really amazing card, as saved me today. Um, another card from set nine is four Ribrian. Same thing, um, for one energy. Especially green, you come in, pop a four drop or less. This will set off uh, suppose that freeze if you've got it. And what many people forget is when you KO this card with a skill, when this card leaves Valeria's skill, you get to drop KO another four drop. So when you use this as a successor fodder, you're just KOing two cards. It's just stupid. It's 20k, two KOs, it's just pussing, which is what this deck wants. As mentioned, to me, this is the best card in the whole deck. Uh, two drop pan. So the way I build Gohan is I do not awaken at 3 life, I awaken at 2. Reason being, I want to free play her. There's been many times, as I said, there's been games where I have not won 
from successor because I've rivaled in with Brianne or an Android 18 Krillin, I've swung with 20k, not comboed, I've then swung with another card for 15k, swung with another card for 15k, restand it with Pan's ability, swing with 20k, swing with 15k with Pan, KO all three with Belmont, swing with 20k Belmont, overwhelm, swing with 20k, and you just have 12 attacks on one turn, and then not even big bodies that all just free play cards. You know your uh, deck from beginning to end, it's very important, huh? I've been testing it for three weeks, uh, three weeks I've got so many games into this through different matchups that I know what the plays are for most of the big <laughs> matchups that was here today. You got the best super combo in the game, you got uh, almost the best negate in the game, I think, in the, uh, uh, in there, I so. feel like I've got the best super combo, and then it, the deck pluses, and that's all I wanted, and it pluses too hard, in my opinion. This deck is a nuisance to play. I've had so many blue Gohan, blue green Gohan players go up, turn around saying, my sideboard is six negates, and yet you still won because you attacked 12 times. It shouldn't be allowed. Um, <laughs> So, uh, As we continue, 4 1 drop Krillins. This is like the turn 1 play, turn 2 play, it's like the heart and soul. Um, I didn't even realise this until a teammate, Jacob Brown, mentioned it. It actually replaces itself with George Card. This just makes this card nuts. For me, I just thought it becomes a 4 drop blocker, uh, successor fodder. Um, this, I will admit, wasn't one of my decisions. This came from 3XG's list that they posted out a similar one. I didn't even think about this card, and now I don't think I would ever take out. One drop Fledging Talapan, play it for one energy as always, you will drop a card from your hand, normally you want to drop a Beerus, and you draw a card, so you're meant to just be zero, however, thanks to Beerus' bit to free play from the battle card skill, you're plusing. I then main board two focus breakthroughs, because of Topo, Hellfighter, Deborah, they're all nuisance, Champion Trickster, uh, you don't want that in this deck. Four Beerus, as mentioned, hit them off with Pan. The 5k combo pieces, which is important in a deck like this. A rival fodder, successful fodder. It's just a perfect card. It's a 350k body. Uh, free spice tap freezers. Uh, as mentioned before, there's so many ways of bringing this card out. It's 50k crit. It's the most important thing is it's a 4 drop, which gets you to successor 8 easy. Belmont. This card is the one of the best cards in set 9, and it's a common. You can KO any free battle card, it doesn't have to be colour, which tricks so many people off. Say, so didn't think you could just KO an overhand card. You can KO any three cards, send two drop, play it. It's a 20k blocker, you think that's fine. It then adds the ability to KO any card on their punch field. No energy required, no energy reduction. So you can KO secret rares, A drops, 6 drops, doesn't matter. As long as they don't have barrier, you're KOing it. Uh, free Bardocks, I went with this over Toa just because of the whole Beerus play. Again, the Fledger Talent Pants for Beerus and the Bardocks was the 3XG list in America. Just these three were the things I put in from that list because of the whole fact of Pan brings out Beerus, Bardock lets you draw so you bring out Beerus if you drop it. It's just pure plus. The best super combo in the game, in my opinion. The multicolor cards are amazing. Zamasu is horrible against this deck. 18's one of the best. Um, who Beerus lets you be sanity, but the fact you can draw two, walk one, in a deck that is as aggro as this, just will save you. You get rid of the, uh, the extra cards you don't need, get rid of the one 10k pieces you don't need, and it just sets up your leader so much. And then we run four shocking death balls because I have never built a deck without negates, and because I know I'm going to get hit. Uh, sideboard, I decided to look up at many matches. So as you notice in the main board, I don't run feet. Reason I don't want feet is to turn three. I want successor eight, meaning I can't do feet. It's impossible. <laughs> I want to try and win turn three, maybe turn four players, and that's only against a few matchups. I have, so however, I do sideboard feet against the mirror, and I will sideboard it in against Search Coup, just for that added pressure. Uh, two Son Goku close quarters, Invoker. I hate Vegeta. We've tested Invoker so much that I want to kill it. It's annoying. I didn't even see an evoker, so it just sat in the sideboard all game. Black Mass saying, this card is important, I feel today, because during free play stuff, this deck free play stuff, um, the, Go the Gohan that you can walk one, come in, will get negged, um, Cell Loop will get negged, it hits too many things now to not be included, plus, as you've noticed, no Self Awakeners, this is the only Self Awakener in the deck. Two Crisis Crushers for the Blue Green Mirror. They, their whole goal is to swing with one drops, awaken. 
this will just stop a one drop swarm. Two camis, because Jiren is a problem for this deck. Uh, if you don't play Jiren correctly, you're going to lose. So I just wanted to get rid of all the four drops I can. Never faced Jiren, so it wasn't sideboarded in. Two crusher ball. Got sided boarded in the mirror in my teammates who was playing this exact list because I actually sent him the deck. Um, I knew he was going for successor, so I crusher board it, made him waste his pan ability to withstand it, and it just ended up I won from that whole combo. Haru Haru, amazing card. Sideboard it against Serge Piccolo and won the game because I was able to pay free, on tap four energy, do a load of more rival stuff and play stuff, tap free. All right, bring it in, big Kamehameha, and basically I just played off 13 energy in one turn. And with the fact that you can do so much with free energy, it just overswarm those Piccolo player. And then this was the last edition last night, thanks to Dan Owen, convincing me uh, from EXT. He's like a brother to me, been there since the game side in Manchester, so shout out to him. I'd put in one double strike Kai instead of Yamcha Cunning, because so many times in the mirror, they will put you down to one. And so you need that double strike for Lina. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. This list, in my opinion, is less glass cannon than blue green. It, you just had too many swings. It ended up getting the title at our locals as 28 steps to hell. Because on turn three, you have the possibility to do 28 damage if you get the nuts. If not, you're getting at least 12, minimum 20 damage just from having the right lines of place. So, yeah. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much. Um, and then all I've got left is a few shout outs. So, shout outs to my team, uh, Fanboy, Free in Manchester. Shout out to the staff there. Shout out to all the friends I made uh, through this game Peter Dance, a load of the Leeds lot, and Sheffield lot. Shout out to Dan Ogni, XTU's, helped me and uh, encouraged me. And pretty much I'm hoping now to take over the top 16 with this because everybody has said to me today they don't want to face this. I can imagine. Man, uh, congratulations once again. Thank, thank you, you for much, thank you for doing this like, for, for the workout and for my wife, my wife has games channel. So uh, thank you guys for what you do on YouTube. Thank you for the content. Um, and it's a pleasure to be both channels. Thank you and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye bye.